that soon. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to uh, Dumb SEO Questions, episode 360. Each week uh, we meet here to uh, uh, answer the, or, or review the questions asked on the uh, Dumb SEO Questions Facebook group. Um, with us today we have... Uh, David Roseanne, David, a uh, leading internet marketer. He's based in uh, West Sussex, uh, in the uh, sunny coast of uh, the uh, England. Um, and um, you can find David at davidrosam.com uh, and Shemolian Marketing. Um, Tim Cameron, here. yes, go on, David. What was that? Or even chameleon. Chameleon, yes. Well, see, I, 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 okay, yes, good, yes, thank you, David. Um, Tim Kappa is CEO of OnlineOwnership.com. He's also a Google top contributor. Uh, sorry, a Google product expert uh, in the um, Google My Business community, a local search expert. Uh, Tim is based in Corby, about 100 miles north of uh, London. Uh, and Masataki Wasa is webmaster of wasaweb.net. Uh, he's based uh, in Wimbledon, a suburb of London. Um, he uh, is also a Google product expert on the uh, AdSense community. We have nine questions tonight. Uh, let's... Um, See if we can find uh, one of the first one. This one is from John Vertigo. It's titled, What if I mix two content management systems on the same domain? Absolutely nothing. Um, if I mix two CMS, two content management systems on the same domain, uh, I won't read them out. Um, And Michael Martin, as uh, I see, said, uh, no, you should be fine. And he's, uh, I think he's absolutely right. No disagreement? No disagreement. Okay, so let's um, move on to number two on our run list. Um, Cross-domain tracking with Google Tag, Tag Manager. Um, it's from Sarah Adams who said... Uh, when setting up cross-domain tracking with Google Tag Manager, does it matter if the auto link and allow linker settings are adjusted in the Google Analytics preview tag, page view tag, or the Google Analytics custom variable? I think I'm going to say something along the lines of Michael. I've got uh, GTM set up on a number of sites I'm um involved with but it's a long time since i've actually tweaked anything in it i think i think you're going to be all right sarah but i cannot guarantee it okay then uh, well i'm i must point out people like uh, michael martinez and michael stricker um the people who uh, um, front up uh, every day and answer the questions uh, that are asked on, on our Dumb SEO Questions Facebook group. Um, your, your contribution is invaluable and gratefully uh, acknowledged. All right, let's um, let's uh, cover this one off. Let's go to number three on our run list, with and without the trailing slash. Chris Green said, uh, hey, guys, one of our sites have product pages. For example, uh, HTTP for colon slash slash domain dot com slash product hyphen name ending with a trailing slash, while our category pages don't end with the trailing slash. Are there any implications of this uh, from an SEO standpoint? 
Um, no, I don't believe there are. Um, I'm sorry, I, I'm looking at Brenda's uh, reply here and looking at the question. Am I missing something? Because he's not actually asking about redirects. And Brenda uh, ans answers about redirect. Well, she's, she's saying, um, um, should you um, um, re redirect to 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 the non-trailing slash? Does that yes, make sense? you should, but that, but uh, Chris Green doesn't actually ask about redirect. I, no, true, but I, it would be implied, wouldn't it, David? I don't know. Um, why would he want to uh, um, to go um, from product name, uh, the product pages to the uh, to the category pages? I suppose if he was, yeah, okay, yes. If the product had um, if the product had uh, been withdrawn, okay, okay. Maybe it's me not reading it deeply enough, but um, there's there's no there's no problem with putting them with or without uh, training slashes. But yeah, okay, so Brenda has gone a step further and over-delivered. The, the, the reason that um, it, um, it is an issue um, is, is that um, uh, if you have the slash, it, it requires an extra callback to the server um, to ensure that uh, the, the final address has been received. Um, oh, and, 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 I can do that. Yeah, yeah, Dan, it, it's true. I, I wouldn't lie to you, Dan. <laughs> I wasn't saying you were. I was just yeah. saying that's interesting. I, I wasn't aware of that. All right, let's go to number four on our run list. It's from Julius Kishumba. Um, Julius asked a question which is titled, No... Uh, um, secure socket slayer. No article. Um, worst page insert. Worst page. Worst page speed insights, but still ranks first. Welcome to our world. Um, okay, so um, Julius goes on to say, "Here's a dumb SEO question. How does this website rank on the first page of Google for Boston Voice and Data?" It has no uh, secure socket slayer or SSL. Um, page speed insights is the worst I've ever seen, and they have no articles ranking anywhere and no social. Um, no social engagement, I'm sorry. He said, no, the link to the website has been disabled because of the possibility of being hacked. The link to the website has been disabled. Possibility of being hacked. Um, we, we can't actually answer this because we can't click on the the website. And I did scan through the community answers, and there seems to be a question about whether there was something underhand about publishing the the link in the first place. Um, but um, basically, we can't say anything about it because we can't see it. Ah, uh -huh. I see. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else wants to say anything about it, but I think we should just skip it. Well, yeah, well, yeah. Um, but the point is, like, what what is the site? Yeah, I mean, he says it ranks for Boston Voice and Data. Well, I searched that, and I got quite a reputable freaking firm. XO, which is like a Verizon company, yeah. Just, so that's your answer alone because it's. And then I did it in all quotes, and it's a it's a GMB site, which obviously wasn't appearing in quotes because in quotes it has to be exact match. So, like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, of course, he might have just set up um, that. Uh, site with malware and uh, he, he put it uh, the, the, well, no, the, the query in to get some business on it well no the very first one the google the google site you can't set up with the malware because it's direct via your gmb listing you can't ah. put shit into it 
Fair enough. And the other one is a Verizon owned site. And if you know what Verizon is, it's probably the largest, I don't know, whatever they are, media data company in the in in, in like in the US. So um, yeah, that, that I don't care what you think about it. It's just pure um, um, you know, uh, attributed to the to to the parent company. It's that's that's where it's going to get all of its. Fair enough. Thank you, Tim. All right, uh, let's move on to number five on our run list. Uh, this one from David Gizzarelli. And if you're reading this or watching this, uh, David, uh, l let me know uh, the, the answer to the the question put to you. Uh, 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 do you think we should change our uh, um, group rules um, to point out that uh, uh, any um, question asked is reviewed uh, weekly on uh, these Hangouts? Anyway, David is a really asked question, why, websites, why do websites have to look and feel a certain way uh, to perform well? Um, it's yeah, I'm, I'm pish poshing that, David, because uh, one of the, the most <clears throat> successful online businesses out there, obviously, before they before they were re uh, before they redid their website, well, I don't know, two years ago. Um, literally, the biggest online marketplace next to amazon and it was the worst user experience and it was like originally designed in the, the it was just a freaking nightmare they've recently redone really it in the last year but that just answers your question no it doesn't have to look at like that to make more than amazon mm -hmm. what was the site that they really did It's that, um, oh God, um, uh, uh, never mind. It, it, I, yeah. I, I was just consumed with curiosity. Alibaba, man, Alibaba. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. I think I mean, that it was in, in my head, just couldn't, yeah. No, they are bigger, than, they make more than Amazon. And if you ever had a look at that fucker, it was Jesus, my God. Um, there's that other one. Um, obviously, it's not turning over as much as Amazon, this one. Ah, God, what is it? Not only Express. It's like, it's like, ah, oh, it's like eBay, but it's not eBay, but, um, but it's for B2B, you know, you can buy like a tractor and a, you know, 400 pallets of, yeah, oh God, what's it called? But same again, that that's a freaking nightmare, the way it, it works, looks and feels. Um, Not the dark web, Tim. <laughs> 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 no, but what I'm saying is, it's only, it's only, I think Dave is just making a general assumption based upon what he's looked at. But in the rule of it, like if you look at actually the big money, the, you know, the, the, the guys that have made money over the years, some of them have been absolutely frightfully, you know, uh, horrible. In fact, even Amazon at the minute, you know, uh, that's, that's not a nice looking site. Okay. Let's move on to number six in our room. This we're flying through these. That will be finished in record time. This is from, this is from our good friend, JL Faveria. Um, his question is titled, Will no follow affect crawl budget or backlink tools? Um, would adding rel equals no follow to footer links, um, example designed by nephew, affect crawl budget um, or backlink tools? Um, well, your backlink tools will say you, uh, they'll, they'll flag a warning going. You've got 
X amount of no follows. Um, in terms of crawl budget, no, I don't believe it will. No, um, no, it, it shouldn't affect crawl budget. Excellent. Okay, guys, thank you for that. Uh, let's move on to um, Sarah Adams' question. It's titled uh, Content Audit for an Enterprise Site. Um, Sarah said, any recommendations on the best way to approach a con content audit for an enterprise site? I love Michael um, Martin's uh, contribution on this one. Make sure you understand every department's needs and goals uh, um, before doing anything else. Yeah, I, I think Michael has, uh, has hit it on the head there. We're assuming that an enterprise site is a, is a great big rambling thing with hundreds of thousands or millions of pages. And... A content audit on a thing like that is going to be enormously time consuming unless you uh, work out your priorities. Um, you need to know which which are the uh, um, which area. You might even want to say, just look at this area of the site. Um, you know, are we, is it a, has it got an e commerce part to it? So are we going to look at the e commerce part or are we looking at, this department or maybe even the the us section and the french section or whatever try and work out what your priorities are or else you'll disappear down one hell of a uh, uh, a rabbit hole excellent did i did i, did I jump on top of someone Okay, let's go to the next question eight on our run list, titled A Tool for Building Auto Backlinks. Al, the feel the pain already. Uh, Michaela Horvitz asks a question, can anyone recommend a tool for building auto backlinks? Um, well, the first thing that worries me, Michaela, is that you've read enough to understand like kind of that, that links will help a, a site you haven't read enough about what's good what's bad um, and auto backlinks is one of the bad ones so i rather sarcast sarcastically commented that um you might as well just no no index your entire site now because you'll eventually get a manual penalty and google will do it for you um which is essentially the path you're going to go down if you start looking at this. I would go back to actually uh, doing a bit of research. But the best thing you can do for yourself whilst you're doing that research is providing content for your users that will help them to convert uh, uh, into the purchasing funnel. Brilliant, Tim. Thank you. All right, Michaela, I hope um, that um, falls on um, um, willing ears. Um, let's move on to number, it uh, must be number nine on our run list. Um, it's from a question from the Nomad Sam. Should I put keywords in the domain name? Uh, he said, when choosing a domain name, how important is it to include the keywords you're trying to rank for? Would you try to include them if possible? No. It's not important. It used to be important, but it isn't now. Um, we had all these... Uh, what, what were they called? Um, um, exact match domains. Thank you. Yes, I started to say it, and then it went. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, look... So, the way I would look at it is, so from trying to, how important is it, I would say zero. However, you can, if, 
if that keyword is your main kind of service and it fits within the brand, it might actually be, what I'm saying is it might, the domain, it might make the domain name more memorable. Um, so, for example, I don't know. Oh, yeah, we were just looking at that site, XO, right? So if, for example, you were doing, I don't know, um, the Nomad Sam, uh, if, for example, you were doing villas in Thailand and the, the brand was called XO, so I guess it could work saying XO Villas. It might make it easier for people to find you if it's a big kind of thing. Um, they might then search Exo Villas, get the exact subdomain that you're working on, you know, within the company or whatever the case would be, or there might be others called Exo, whatever. So it might make sense in, in, in that instance. But in terms of how important, zero. Just work on building your brand. Thank you, Tim. All right, so um, when I click this button, I've got a feeling I'm going to see, uh, yes, it is. Thank you for watching time. Uh, that means that we've um, reviewed all of the uh, questions asked on the uh, uh, Dumb SEO Questions Facebook group. <clears throat> we'll be back uh, at the same time next week uh, to do this um, all again. Um, I, I, I must thank, before I go, uh, um, Tim Kappa, uh, David Razam, Masataki Wasa. Um, thank you guys for turning up and uh, your contribution is invaluable. Um, people like Ma Michael Martinez uh, who answer questions through the week, your contribution is invaluable. We'll be back um, same time next week, um, but for now, it's uh, good night.